with my fountain. <laughs> Jesus, lamp. <laughs> I'm so annoyed. Yeah, that's not too dark. That does look good. You can tell. This is looking a lot warmer than I expected for it to be. <laughs> I put in don a donation then, so I gotta go a little easy. <laughs> oh, I went too far down. I took a little bit of the shine off here. Mm, hi, Black Opal. How are you? What up, it's your girl, Nina. In this video, we are going to be taking a stroll down memory lane, Black Opal. It is just so nostalgic because I was in Target just casually and I saw Black Opal there and I don't know if this is new or I've just missed it all this time, but here we are. I want to try out whatever I got because it's just so fun. It just feels good. So if you're new, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you also comment and let me know if you are a Black Opal stan, which of these products do you have, love, use? I want to know. Follow me on Instagram and on TikTok and Pinterest and we're gonna get into this. Now, I did not see a primer, grin. I did not have much time when I was there, but I didn't see much. I did see an eyeshadow palette. I wasn't impressed. I didn't want it, so I didn't get that. This is more about the skin. And they did rebrand. I think this was a while ago, not just recently. This is the Invisible Oil Blocking Loose Powder. It's got a matte finish. I opened it earlier. What concerns me is that it's a taupe color. I wish that this was not taupe, but it's taupe, okay? Now, I'm going to use this as a primer to mattify my T-zone. This is one of the things that I like to do. I normally would use a different powder, but I'm using this one because we're trying this out. Only in the T-zone, which is where I get oily. Hopefully, this will help to keep the shine down. It's not going to keep me matte all day, but you know, it just does a little something, something. I want to use as many of these products as I can. I want to just use all the ones that I purchased. So, I'm tapping off the excess and putting this in my T-zone. Let me also go over my eyebrows because I hate when my eyebrows look oily. And then the, the eyelids while we're here. Okay, mattify all this. Obviously, I've done my skincare routine. Never gonna skip that just because of makeup. That has to happen. And then we just do this on top, all right? So there's that. It is definitely giving translucent. So I got three of the foundations. The first one is Suede Mocha. And then the second one is Black Walnut. And this third one is Ebony Brown. And just looking at all of them, I already can tell that Ebony brown is more my speed. I can likely make the other two work, but you know I like to go darker with my foundation because when I highlight everything, it'll all come together. I can't do it, but look at this. Yeah, that's not too dark. That does look good. You can tell. It has been a minute since I have used a stick foundation. And if I'm not mistaken, this ebony brown shade is new. I don't recall. I felt like black walnut was the darkest one ages ago, although I cannot remember because it's been so long. This would not be a contour on me because it's not dark enough, but you're looking at this, you might be like, uh, that is so dark. Well, it doesn't match the middle of my face and I don't like to match my foundation to the middle of my face. I like to match to my neck and chest. And if you're looking at this, doesn't it do that? Because my face, I don't let my face just bake in the sun and it just all goes together a lot better when my whole face is done. So using the Sigma brush, let's blend this all in. I love using a Kabuki brush because it still maintains the level of coverage that I want. I do not like to sheer out my foundations. I prefer a matte coverage and I'm just moving this around ever so slightly to get it in place. This is looking a lot warmer than I expected for it to be. <laughs> But it is creamy, it is full coverage. Let me go over the eyelid too. And see, I did not have to move it too far. This coverage is so full. The skin is looking healthy and natural. This is looking way more warm than I would like for it to be. I do not bring my foundation down to my neck and chin, but what I do is wipe off the excess from the brush and just go here so that there's no harsh line, but I'm not gonna actually bring it down. I hate that. That's like ridiculous to me. Okay. I feel like I used too much foundation. I have not used this in years. So I just forgot how pigmented it is. The shade is, is nice and deep. That is for sure. It is nice and deep. I like this shade. Full, cheesy, my maisy. It's just, uh, wow. So full coverage. I'm sure I could have used less and still looked this great. Love it. It is creamy. So you may find that it fe you can feel it on the skin, but this is so tried and true. I just love how full coverage it is. This got me through years of freelance makeup artistry. This is the Brightening Concealer. I got the color Maple. I hope that this shade is not too neutral because now I look at it. 
it's giving neutral but that may work the shade is definitely light enough so this is great i usually am good at when i'm looking at the concealer in the store picking out the right one i also got another foundation when i was at target what was it was it black radiance it was something and it was way too light so i put in a donation bin but this is nice i've never used this concealer this was not available back in the day so i don't know anything about this if you've used it i want you to come and let me know but so far it's blending nicely this color is nice let's look up close and personnel links to all products will be below this concealer is not light enough well let's just get up close and personal with the concealer so you can see it i think it's beautiful it looks very natural hydrating all the things but i need this to be lighter so i'm taking elf cosmetics deep chestnut to make this lighter Ooh. And this is none other than KVD Vegan Beauty 098 that I use to contour my face and also my nose. Still loving this. This The one I have right here is so beat up. Oh my gosh, but I'm gonna use it to the bitter end, okay? Cause this stuff is good. Okay, I can't lie to you. I'm not gonna use this taupe powder under my eyes because I don't like that it's taupe. It very well might not change the shade of my under eye, but I feel like it will and I don't want to take the risk because I have other things to film today. I automatically just don't like that this is taupe, okay? But you know, we saw how it worked on the face without anything else. I do have this oil absorbing pressed powder. This is called Around the Clay Girl. Let's use this to set the under eye. Now I'm not gonna put a sponge inside of this. I will just use the brush that I used in the beginning to apply the loose setting powder. So just fixing the under eye, taking some, it looks more much more light on the camera, but it's not that light. It does have a yellow undertone. I wish this had a mirror, but you know, it's affordable drugstore, I get it. Wow, okay, I do like this. I think that this looks really pretty and I put it everywhere I have the highlighter. I think it looks gorgeous. This I can definitely see myself using time and time again and it's pressed. So which one is better, loose or pressed? It's up to you. Loose is obviously a lot more messy, but this did have fallout. It just, it looks great though. It looks great underneath the eyes. It looks like it's full coverage. It looks good. I'm excited about it. Okay, I'm gonna set my contour with this e.l.f. Cosmetics powder foundation and the color is Rich 660N. Still gonna go over everything with the face powder because that's just what I do. This is dark 4G, one size, and this brush is a number 80 brush. All right, the highlight is Rose Ink Prismatic. I'm gonna link that below as well, everything. And then this is the Black Radiant Artisan Color Baked Blush in the color Warm Berry. Okay. And I shaved my face, so there is no buffer between the product and my skin, which means that the pigment's going to be a lot more pronounced. You know, when there's hair, peach fuzz on the face, the hair absorbs some of the product. Well, that's not gonna happen when you got a freshly shaved face. So I gotta go a little easy. <laughs> okay, I stand corrected. There's actually a mirror underneath here and a puff, which I never use, so. Yes, there is a mirror. Mm, hi, Black Opal. How are you? I'm using the same powder to set under my brow, I've done this side, and then I brought it down to my eye as well. The nice thing is because I put the foundation on my eyelid and then I did the brow bone highlight, it looks like I have a brown shadow on my eyes and I really could just do eyeliner, mascara, lashes, and keep it going, you know? What I can say already about the foundation, and I remember this, it is very creamy. If you have dry skin or you just like to look creamy, dewy, natural, this is gonna be a great foundation for you if you like a stick formula, because it's full coverage, it's great. I like to be matte, so what does it for me is when I'm putting on my brow product, even though I set my brow earlier, you saw that. When putting on my brow product, if my brow product is slipping to too much that tells me that the foundation is too dewy for my liking and it was slipping it wasn't dry enough so my brow looks a little shiny whereas usually it doesn't because I usually use matte foundations so if you like to look dewy you have dry skin this is gonna be great for you
My face is done. I think it looks beautiful. I just need it to be more matte. So I'm using the Ciate London Everyday Vacay Powder. I used to use this ages ago. It is so good. It is stark white, but it doesn't leave the face white, Abe. This is a Real Techniques brush. So here's the powder on here, dusting off the excess. I want to leave this dewy. Obviously, that's why I put a highlighter there, but I don't need my whole face looking dewy. Because when I take down my hair, I hate when my hairline is dewy because my hair will stick. Oh, I went too far down. I took a little bit of the shine off here because my hair will stick to my face and it's annoying. So I want to minimize the dew at the hairline. Alrighty then. I like how this makeup came out. I want you to comment and let me know what you think about it. I did my soft glam look. I've been doing this look quite often as of late. I'll link the hair below. I curled it this way. I need to wash it actually. And I want you to let me know what you think about this look. How do you think it came out? Would you purchase it? I wanna know. All links are below as always. Make sure you subscribe, give the video a thumbs up and comment. And I'm gonna see you in my next video. Bye.